Howdy, y'all, and welcome back to Nashville, Tennessee for the 2021 Music City Open. We have got first round back nine feature card action. Jeremy Colling, Paul Uliberry, Big Barry. Oh, boy, howdy. We, we back at it. Front nine, not the hottest scores, but no one over par. We've got Eric Oakley battling with two bogeys and a double, yet four birdies that get to even par. The others are at two, two and one under, but they are chasing Luke Sampson, Nathan Queen at six down a piece, three players at five down, and a slew of others at four. And let's get into the action hole 10 par three, 392 feet with this tight gap that you've got to hit. The early trees on the left kind of come into play, but it's really this gap right here that you're trying to navigate. From there, it kind of opens up as you go down the hill, low ceiling all the way, got to cross this little creek, and then you got the elevated mound basket. Well, I guess it's not really a mound. I was just thinking six under on the front is almost like perfect. It's insanely good. There yeah. are some hole two on the front yeah, nine is so like tough. Obviously, you can get those as this one's a bit too low, but obviously you can get those birdies, yep. but you're not going to get all of them. No, I, I would agree. I think... Seven down would be, I think, perfect. And then, yeah. like, if someone shot nine down, they're cheating. Don't believe their score. This guy is an angle master. He really is. He's just that Ew. kind of a rude hit. A little bit too high, but that was working its way. It was going to be in putting range had, yeah. it, had it been just a foot lower. I think the pure route on this is playing it left side to 40 footer or so. You can... Oof. Go right at it. Don't, oh my Don't goodness. say that to Paul McBeth. Well, I mean. <laughs> he just laces it. That was an absolute dart. But if he, you know, errors on the heavy side of the disc, that's still Ooh, fine to the left. Poop, man. That was going places. Eric yanking the truth a bit late on that release. Now he's got this approach. And this needs to slow down. Slow down. Gonna, Scary putt. And especially after the, the three putt he just had on hole nine, Eric's going to need to knock that one down and get out of here with his par. Easy little up. Similar result, I'm sure, from Justin here. Oh, well, why do I say the things that I say? <laughs> Once again on hole 10, Justin, just a fraction too high. Fortunately, as Eric connects, a huge putt there for Eric. Well done. Fortunately, it didn't knock it straight down. So Justin still got the distance that he wanted, but he's got a little bit of work left to clean up his par. Meanwhile, Macbeth, after that fantastic drive, still having to work with a 27-footer up to the elevated basket, and he makes good, so great birdie for Paul. Yeah, it's a good look at how tall that basket really is. It gets swirly out here, and mm -hmm. anything in the circle becomes very difficult. These guys making it look easy from a good 25 feet and out. I love Justin's putt so much. It is so pure. It is so easy to repeat. He doesn't seem to be affected. I mean... You gotta imagine what kind of advantages are you do you have if you have played semi-pro bowling professional bass fishing and disc golf professionally twice now i mean it's pretty incredible he definitely isn't going to be affected by nerves in the same way that somebody else might know. hole 11 par 3 204 feet this is the easiest hole on the course almost seems like a musket i guess it really is a musket oh yeah you're coming to this one and you're thinking, I got to get it. <laughs> Paul's not going to be happy with that. He's going to make it from there because it's... It's got to be got. Yeah. Kind of going with a little flex forehand lines. Too heavy on the Anheuser. Yeah. And it's too heavy on the tree as well. Something about those muskets make it a little more difficult. I, what is it about that, you know? Justin doesn't know. No. That will be... Tighter nice backhand line than it is a sidearm line. The sidearm drifting from right to left definitely opens up the gap a bit more. Eric with the Claymore. He's turned this over a bit. 
But that, that's why yeah. you can kind of get away with the right. mm -hmm. sidearm a little bit better there. Correcting a little bit more space. But let's see if Paul can clutch up here and make this huge 60 footer. And yeah, he's not going to be happy about that one. And he's got a little bit of work left for the par as well. Final once again, just barely off. He's not happy about that. Par, but not what he's looking for. He's angry. Par Macbeth. And Eric. Ooh. Too Don't put that evil on him. <laughs> Eric too strokely. And Vino make a lot. <laughs> no bad. Yeah. No, no, I like it. Let's keep going. <laughs> we already did this. Just in the basket for two. So two down on our feature group. Not no bueno. But if they were to do that here, that would be muy bueno. This is a, we call these ones doozies, Paul. 379 feet uphill, 35 feet, low ceiling the whole way. This is a classic get your par and maybe somebody in your card could have a look at birdie, but this is a very, very tough one. Boy, that's good. That is really good. Just in the circle. I'll stop. Sidearm. Playing for oh, par, I'm higher, guessing. Bud. Go higher. And I don't know why he'd want Sick to go higher. Branch, let's go, dude. <laughs> oh, he was being sarcastic. Yeah, that was going so oh, forwards. okay. Yeah, the forehand. For Eric, he's got a really good forehand flip up play, and I think if he can get himself to jump putt range, he's going to be happy with the par in this one. Man. Decent result for the mm -hmm. slip and the bad release there. Anything in the middle by those trees, you can figure something out. And this is the same D1 we've been seeing Vino throw well all round, and look at this. He's thrown another beautiful one. I mean, he. He is right next to Justin. Those are fantastic drives. Paul not wasting any time on his approach. Just grabbing his zone, throwing a skip approach. Just behind the basket. That should be about 22 feet left for the par. Oh, <laughs> no. Eric has, has oh, had a very... Very subpar mid-range game today. And God, come on. That bogey is just the product of him not being crisp on his approaches. Nothing, to, well, a little to do with the putt. That's a lot to do with the putt. Yeah, that's crispy. Inch over the rim on the stripe. Straight buckets for Vino. His third American birdie in 2021 is a happy one. This is a tough hole. And Justin, look at that. Follow suit. That's just pure. Purina puppy chow. Oof. Rough, rough. <laughs> yeah. Not any rough from that hole for Justin, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. That was pure down the middle action with a great putt for Birdie. Paul connecting on a little cedar branch there as that makes it past and didn't really affect the flight that much. So he'll take his par and walk away. I believe my co-commentator also picked up the birdie on this treacherous hole. One of nine players in the entire field do it. So to see two of them here out of our 130 player count is pretty impressive. Hole 13, par three. Paul, what, what do you try to do on this one to get this hyzer? Well, today there was actually a straight tailwind. Normally, you're going to want to take something like a stable putter that pushes left. Very easy to get to this short placement with any disc, but to get it back there into parkland takes a flip-up hyzer that drifts left. And Justin's kind of going with a nice little spiky. And because mm -hmm. of that tailwind, the stable disc on that 
flight are pushing all the way to the basket. Normally, those would come up a bit short to the left. Mino is just past the basket, and that sticks right there in that soft mud green. Paul going for a much tighter hyzer line. Going. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's so good. That shot did not suit my eye when he initially threw it, but now looking at it, it was nearly perfect and almost in. And Eric parks that as well. And th that is a group of great shots. So in Finland, we call that Huvia Haito. Whereas a single good shot, much like this one right here, will just be Huva Haito. And I butchered the pronunciation this time, but I'll do it better next time. Let me give it a go. Huvia Haito. <laughs> no, that's for all of them. No. <laughs> oh, I know my finish. You, tried to you just told me. I'm just kidding. But, you, but you have to say it. Uva Haito. All right, I'm going to go back to English here. Good putt, Paul. Uva. Yeah, I, <laughs> I gave a little sound effects there as I walked <laughs> by. <laughs> I'm glad they left that in. Hole 14. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Par three, 307 feet. This is a tricky one. Sidearm flex shot if you want to get close. I don't know what Justin's going to do. I'm very curious. Sidearm flex shot around here. Get a nice little skip. That's what you're looking for. There is a backhand play to the right yeah. that you can kind of sneak through. There is also a sneaky roller, but that's super tight. Yes, and that's the play Justin's going to go with. He's going to go that back door. Anheuser, and it gets up there, and it's behind an entire wall of cedars. He's in the circle, but not going to have a good look at it. Really? Final going with it as well. And he's going to wish he did not. That is, that is a place where finished dreams go to die. All right, back to... This is the, the play. actual play. And the nose angle is everything on this hole. Look at Macbeth just inches off from perfection. The angle was right, just the nose angle was not. And the, the difference here, Eric, just inches higher, but he, he, he got the nose it, so up. It was good. It felt so good. instead of digging into the top of that hillside, it glides over and makes its way right past the basket, and he as well is going to have a very obstructed putt. Look at this. That's how bad it was over there, straight out to the right. And we saw him scramble very well on the front nine, so you know he's got that scramble game. So it had to have been just awful, and that's yeah. not a good result from there. Nope, he's behind a wall, and, and there's nothing at all where he's at. That's looking more and more like a double bogey. Paul going with a the buzz there. He didn't like the... The angle for his zone. Two places to where he just doesn't even have a chance. That's that's a real bummer. And look what Justin's left with after that fantastic drive. He's just got a layup. Tough little bugger hole 14. Now this took a while, Eric, to get to that Woo! lie. This was probably a minute or so just trying to get to his lie. And then he used all of his time trying to Wait, figure out. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hear him talking about that. Our editors could have left in a little bit more of the struggle that it took for Eric to get there because that really would have told the story. And that was a fantastic birdie putt for Eric. Yeah, great drive and then didn't have anything to show for mm -hmm. it. Taking his time, getting it in there. Kudos, as they say in Finland as I well. I don't believe that's true. Yeah, they definitely don't. And maybe they do. Maybe they do say kudos. And oh, no, it's kitos. Kitos. Yes, kitos. I know. That. I see what I <laughs> Kudos. You couldn't, get, you couldn't get on board with All me. All right. No, I appreciate that. That's respect. Respect. Yeah. <laughs> Hoover. Hoover. Ball 15, par 4, 648 feet. About 330 of it is flat. Eh, maybe a little bit less than that. But then the second half of the hole... 
all downhill. There is some outside chance to really get a big drive here. If you can get one turning over from left to right, you can make your way well down this fairway, leaving yourself a short approach, but it takes a high-speed driver to do that. Eric's going to just play the safe shot with a forehand. Oh, please. That's fine. And that needs to get down. You don't yeah. want to be too far right. Okay. That's fine. Yep. Yeah. That actually sets up a pretty good Let's angle. angle you bit. can get with a fast driver, you can get down to the green. I've played this hole a lot. I stayed here for a few months back in my day and played this course quite a few times. And you can get one that like this one. Yeah, this example. one is blasted down the fairway. Justin Bunnell, that's 480, 475 feet yes. down the fairway. Just controlled beauty all the way. I mean, once again, I could just sit and watch Justin Bunnell throw backhands all day long. Did you see that little flip he did just to drop it? Calm down with the cool stuff, Paul. <laughs> Paul, he's, he's going for us. He's trying to get aggressive. This not, is fine. Not holding on to the angle. He's so far, though, that he's going to be able to manufacture some sort of look from there. But if you see me in the fairway up there, I'm standing at about 400 feet from the pin. I just wanted to kind of get a gauge on how far these drives might be going. So that's kind of a visual aid for how these shots are going to fly. Oh, I like the hyzer flip, late flip. Tricky. And tough spot. That's thicker over yeah. there. Paul actually went into the flat. That's kinda. not good. Not good. No, he, he he's he's in a tough spot. Okay. Eric's gonna have to go flex. Anheuser to Heiser. He loves it. And what's not to love? Oh, besides that last bit. But you know what? That's a great shot from back there. Vino's favorite stance today this is just an incredible shot whoa incredible shot <laughs> no way yeah he didn't get to that he's going, opening he's going with his esp reaper and look at this look at this ball scramble genius what a shot Justin, after that booming drive, still having a pretty tricky little approach. He's got to go force skip. And uh, you can't get closer unless you're in the basket. Great touch. Why is he hitting that disc? It, yeah, that disc didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. No jump putts allowed. Backhands only. Can we jump putt? No run ups or no run ups or no run ups. No run ups. Just stand still. Well, I didn't hear that part. I'm not following that rule. <laughs> oh, he's gonna drain the first. So much cool content to check out. Got to go on our Patreon and support that. If you don't then you're watching this for free and that's illegal and that's pirating. So stop, stop watching this and go support us on Patreon. I'm just kidding. Hole 16, par three, 368 feet, blind from the tee, downhill to the right. Play is a backhand Anheuser through this early gap or the forehand. Both of them are gonna have to contend with a ton of trees there at the entry. This is a, this is a tough one. This is a bonus birdie. Jeez. His, oh. his angles are so good. Is it turning fast enough? It is trying, but it is not. Oh, well, a little nice kick there at the end. Yeah, that's just outside the circle. Obstructed putt, but seen to make harder for more under... More, more pressure situation. Too low. And too straight. And not much was great about that one from Vino. Not what he was looking for. That's 
too high, it's gonna hit stuff and not make it very far. God dang it, man, stop throwing it bad. I agree with all of that. Yeah, we can't even talk because he says everything. Yeah, he's. Do we have to pay him if he's doing our job? No. Vino, nicely done there. Nice little curl back to the basket as well. That'll be tap and par. Whoops. <laughs> He's going to be left with a bit of oh. putt as Paul Macbeth chains <laughs> out. He's left with a bit of putt. Yeah, this is a bit. And, and now he's left with a bit of putt again. Yeah, a bit more. Well, me? Okay, cool. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Good putt. <laughs> Good putt. Very How good did putt. he make that? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes when you've just kind of like said, all right, I'm. This game sometimes, man. <laughs> I don't get it. I throw good shots and they're great. I play in the worst spots and it works out. <laughs> so entertaining. Justin from yes. just outside the yeah. circle and he just. So buttery, dude. Mm. Look at this back nine he's putting together right now. Paul, this is so good. Seven under. Yeah. Kind of just under our no noses. Right under our noses. Why did I turn into like a person from Minnesota? I don't know why you said <laughs> anything or why you said it the way you said it, but, I, you know, I'll go with it. Yeah, right under our noses. He was doing... <laughs> All right, reel back in, reel back in. Hole 17. We've got two to go, and what a fun hole we have here. 17 par 3, 415 feet. <laughs> Valley shots, just the greatest. So hard to put the brakes on. Mid-range is probably going to be the disc of choice for these guys. That or a fairway driver. Want to push that tree line the whole way and just barely fade or start hysering. Definitely the signature hole on the course. If I were to, if I were to personally name one. It's yeah. just so pretty down the hill. It's a fun shot for everybody. Look at this. And it's the one if oh, you... If you sit. Beautiful. If you ring this one up, oh. Sports Center with Tom Brady. Yeah, with Tom Brady, of course. And Pete Sampras. Paul Macbeth, too oh, wide, yeah. but this could work. Start hazarding. He did not. Nope. But it dropped down outside the tree line, so it'll be unobstructed. Yeah, perfect chance to run it by 45 feet. Yeah, no doubt. It's a quick putt from there is what I'm trying to say. That's what he's saying, folks. Vinyl, get height, skip, no. Decent. Need Fast be, putt. Yeah, he needs to be vinyl make a lot from there because wanting to get a few more birdies, or at least getting this one because hole 18 is a bruiser, as you'll see in just a minute. That is nestled. What Beautiful. a great shot. Yes. Not many pars on Eric Oakley's scorecard today. A lot of back and forth. Paul, full send. No. He had a low ceiling. He had a branch oh, okay. right there in front okay, of him. that makes sense. Didn't, yeah, he didn't like it. You know, destruction of property. He's going to be disqualified for that, unfortunately. It's a tough break for Macbeth. Good run, though. That kept going just a bit. Could be Vino still. No, Justin first. Fuck, it just keeps making him. I love it, man. And now he's right there in that range we were talking about. You want to shoot a good round out here? Eight, nine, it feels stellar. Mm. And that begs the question, why no make a lot? Why no? <laughs> Oh. It's late. Yeah, it's late, but that's still good. I don't. If if you're just waking up and having some follow flight fuel, and you're watching Jomez with us, that's a good joke then too. Nothing funny about this hole, Jerry. No, no, this isn't a funny hole. 
No, par four, 742 feet. If you don't have a sidearm to play it in the middle over here, hyzering from left to right into this spot. You're going to need a roller. You're going to need a roller. And if you don't have that, good luck because you're not getting a birdie. No, and you might not get a par. You might not even get a bogey. This is 4.79 average, easily the hardest hole in the course. Maybe top five on tour. This is figure it out on the second shot. Open the tee shot's pretty open, considering what you have to deal with in the second half of the hole. He's trying the back end. This guy doesn't care, but it, that is a bunker that you cannot get no. through. He's going to be put, pitching out to where the camera angle is kind of showing you right there. I, 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 I know he could save par from there, but just. So the audience knows you most likely don't save par from there. Yes. Like that's bad place. Well, poop. Yeah. Not the greatest roll either. Yeah, that was going to be an okay spot, honestly. Not not in birdie range, but an easy... It's doable from there. So you could get the bird from there, I think. I, yeah. It would be a miraculous yes. shot, but it's definitely... It, there's routes from the middle of the fairway from the middle of the fairway but i i think he's going to have some trees in his throw that are going to disallow him to navigate that angle yeah Maybe. from where he is now yes i'm saying from where it landed oh from where yeah. it landed yes yes of course yeah. of course Macbeth is going to have not much at all he's outdriven the fairway by 60 feet vino you know the fact that he has that forehand there and didn't go with it back on hole 14 or yeah, the the right to left around yeah, the tree. 13 or 14, whatever one that one. That that would have been a great time. This needs to hit something. Come on. Tough from there now. Really? Now there's no yeah. chance to get up and down really. That angle is he can get it to circles edge. Circle two, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two circle edge. Oh boy. And Paul said Came up to me and said, you don't even want to know what I just hit. He said he hit his line perfectly and hit a one of those little viney things that just blend in with the background. He said that was going to be way down there. You can't hit Vino. He's a human. What's he know. doing well, there? I I told you. He's going to get disqualified for neck, knocking that leaf off the last hole. So I think he's just playing for fun at this point. All right. But all kidding aside, there is so much on the line at this event. There's that player of the – year award that's a huge deal as vinyl slips and that kicks left that is a brutal kick ricky wysocki obviously in the hunt calvin heinberg i believe but i don't think he's playing this event but ricky wysocki and paul mcbeth obviously these guys have gone back and forth for player of the year for a decade now so these events these finishes are so so important for the end of year standings this is just showing you how hard hole 18 is these guys are making it a good 45 feet at a time. Yeah. It, and they were probably good shots, honestly. And this is a bummer for Justin because at eight down, he could have been on our lead card with a par, and now he's got that left for the bogey, so he's going to drop good down to shot seven. for the bogey, though. Yeah. Another sidearm roller. <laughs> oh, look at this number. He's two for two with forehand rollers with that Reaper. I think he's going to go with that shot more often. That is absolutely parked. Very cheeky. Okay, Vino, what do you got here? N nothing. Dang it. Oh, my goodness. And that That's our third or fourth throw that went less than 50 feet. It seems like it. Okay, Eric getting cheeky with the forehand roller as well. Love it. And that little tree hit... Slowed it down just enough and curled it just enough that he's got a short putt for the par, so it looks like Eric will remain at two down for the round. Oh, no. Meanwhile, Vino is just hitting every Vino in the way, and that is tough, man. Just a great drive, and then since then, nothing. And to do that right there, Ugh. I mean, just pause it when it's 40 feet out of his hand. It's in between two trees, what, three-foot gap? And for the bogey, oh, absolute heartbreaker. That is not fair. Yeah, that's hitting it in the pocket and leaving the two middle ones. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yep, that is a 7-10 split. Wow. 
Lots of red numbers. Yeah. Only one par in the hole for our group and two double bogeys. So absolutely destroying our lead card there as Justin Bennell's great round is just turned into a good round. Six down is still very respectable, but the others are not going to be happy with those performances, especially not Paul with three down. He's going to be trailing our leader by several strokes going into round two, and that leader is Mason Ford, who was the only player in the field able to get to that 10 under number incredible round for him. And he was 11 under going into 18 bogey did as well. I mean, he could have got to that 12 under mark. Wow. That's what I was thinking to begin the day. I, I said, if somebody just got everything, yep. they could maybe shoot a 12. Yep. That's how good our field is. Somebody's <laughs> Somebody's going to get everything. Well, we will be here again tomorrow. And then for the weekend, we have got a new course that we will be showing you, a temp course. So one more round in the woods, and then it's going to be in the open for the final two rounds of the 2021 National Tour season. Thank you to the Founders Club. As always, you are the life support of Jomez. We appreciate you so much. We'll see you tomorrow. And the heartbeat.